Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week I wanted to discuss a poem verb. Now poem verbs are usually used in toxic relationships to help us make sense of what's really going on or to give some sort of justification in our situation. And poem verbs are used for centuries, they've been thrown around and sometimes they give you great advice and sometimes they could really, really give you detrimental hope for no reason. And the one that I really wanted to look into today is whether absence makes the heart grow fonder. The thing is that most people who are in relationships with narcissists or just toxic relationships kind of use this tactic of back and forth to just justify that it does actually make the heart grow fonder and they see results. But that's not healthy, that's a game and that's what we need to look at. Does absence really make the heart grow fonder or forget about that? My name is Hamasa, welcome to my page and I look at personal development as well as emotional and mental well-being and just day-to-day -day issues. Now before I get into it, please press the bell button and subscribe to my channel um, as well as comment on this video and like it. Um, so welcome to my page. Now diving into it, where when we don't have someone around us, of course we realize that oh my day is actually so much better when a loved one is nearby is near me they're accessible i like being with them i like being around them so when that person takes away their presence they move away or they're going on a whole trip or whatever that may be that's not around you anymore you are then appreciative of what they bring to the table and how they make you feel which is healthy and normal and fine but when you're in a relationship with a narcissist, what happens is that you get love bombed. So when you're first dating and it's new, you are put on a pedestal, you're almost worshipped, you're the best thing that happened to them. They're texting you, they're calling you, they're always there, they're complimentary, they're always around you being the best. The minute the narcissist senses that you're there now, you're in love, they've got you, they will immediately start taking you for granted. And that's called the devaluation period. So that's what happens the minute you fully commit or make yourself vulnerable or open your heart up to a narcissist. They start devaluing you. And for most people, this sort of sense of panic sets in because you miss the love bombing at this point. You miss them always calling you and texting you. You miss them paying you attention. And so you don't know how to make sense of this sort of neglect that's happening, this push and pull. So then when you're put off or you're a little bit standoffish because you're worried about getting hurt, a lighter version of the love bomb bombing starts occurring again. By love bombing, I mean them being excessively attentive to you and just literally bombing you with love, like giving you, suffocating you almost with love. So the minute the devaluation period happens, so you've committed to this narcissist, they've realized you've committed, they're now taking you for granted and now you're worried, so you're pulling back, the narcissist comes running back. And so the reason they keep running back is because narcissists love control. So when they see you distancing yourself, it means that they're losing control over you and over the relationship. So then they start this love bombing again. They start being nice again. They start paying you attention. And this is where this vicious cycle develops, this push and pull. So they be nice to you, you give in, you give them the benefit of the doubt, you're nice to them back, they get you, they're neglectful, you pull away. And that's okay maybe for a month, but that's not feasible for a long-term relationship. And it becomes exhausting to be playing games like this because you're just going to want to fall into the routine of a healthy normal cycle of a relationship and yet you're constantly having to play games you're worried about letting your guard down you're worried about getting too close 
um, and just you know allowing this narcissist making yourself vulnerable to this narcissist because you know that the minute you do that they become cold and neglectful so you constantly have to make them chase you play this cat and mouse which is not healthy for anyone even for the narcissist because the narcissist hates abandonment they're extremely worried for a narcissist relationship is is a necessary source of flattery of validation they need a relationship that's why you barely see any narcissist single for too long because they need to feed off this attention and affection and the way a narcissist works in a relationship that is is really a one-way street with them it's about them meeting their needs so as much as they like people around them because they f- they feed off their energy and they need that validation from people and they need the attention to feel good it also becomes exhausting for the narcissist because other people also have expectations and um, that's an inconvenience to a narcissist a narcissist is not there to meet your expectations or to make you happy they're only there and they're only nice to you because of what you give to them so if you have expectations and demands that's inconvenient to them they don't like that they also don't it, other people are a threat to them they don't like that so when it's like back and forth back and forth for both of you for you it's exhausting because it's not normal that's very toxic you're continuously playing with your partner just to maintain some sort of normality and for the narcissist this is exhausting because they don't as much as they like and need people that's also exhausting for them and it takes a lot of effort for them to be manipulative and play these games so in a nutshell in a narcissistic or a toxic relationship absence does not make the heart grow fonder all it does is just that it fuels the push and pull cycle the love bombing the roller coaster that a narcissistic relationship feeds off so yeah he they might be nice to you for a little while just because they're trying to get you back they're trying to be back in that control to be able to manipulate you but it's not genuine it's temporary fix and if you're in a healthy normal relationship then of course the value of something is more evident to you when you no longer have them around you so you appreciate what you have but my advice to you guys would be that whether a narcissist or not whether a toxic relationship or not always appreciate what's right in front of you don't wait for them to go for you to then give them their flowers if you have something good someone good and you appreciate what they do for you and who they are then let them know don't wait for them to be away for you to be like oh now i realize see it when it's right in front of you so i hope that this kind of explain the proverb and isn't something that you guys will try and justify when a toxic person tries to play games with you because that's not making no one's heart grow fonder that's just mind games and nobody needs that um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see you again here next week please like and comment on this video subscribe to my page and i'll see you guys here again next week thank you for watching Mwah.